Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a little different from my channel, but I wanted to share my life with you guys, so here it is. We recorded ourselves after work a few evenings ago, and I thought I would share what our weekday evenings look like recently. If I'm being honest, Sam and I are way more productive in the morning, and I'm recording a morning routine soon, so be sure to make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you can see everything I accomplish in the mornings. I also want to preface this by saying that evenings have become such a special time for Sam and I these last few months. I love being able to wind down and spend time together, and we've been soaking that in as much as possible. I used to be so busy with school, and Sam was working two jobs, so we really don't take this time for granted. We usually start our evening by making dinner. We like to eat pretty early, so we usually shut down work around 4 o'clock. We enjoy making dinner and hardly ever go out to eat during the week, so we usually take about an hour every evening to make a healthy meal. This is also something we don't take for granted because I'm sure this will probably change when we have kids one day. For this evening, we made steamed broccoli, corn, white rice, and salmon. We coat our salmon with garlic aioli mustard, breadcrumbs, and grated parmesan. I've posted a video about the salmon, so I'll link it above if you want to see more details. After we're done with dinner, we like to go outside with the pups and water the garden. I have been anxiously waiting for my seeds to sprout even though I only planted them a few days ago. I feel like I'm going outside every few hours to check on them, but I'm so nervous because it's my first garden. So if you guys are expert gardeners and have any tips for me, please comment them below because I would love to know how to be a pro at this. After watering the garden, we usually hang outside for a while. This has become pretty routine in our evenings now that the weather is nice here in Colorado. When we lived in our apartment, we would take the dogs out for a walk every night no matter what the weather was like. So now we just hang out with them in the backyard. It lets them run around and get all of their energy out and it's also a good time for us to just hang out and talk about our days. After the dogs get worn out, we like to go back inside and make some hot lemon water. If you've never tried this, I definitely recommend. I like to do this in the morning as well. I feel like drinking a mug of warm lemon water has boosted my metabolism and also makes my body feel better altogether. While the kettle heats up, I feed my sourdough starter. This starter has become so active recently that I've been trying to feed it twice a day for the past few months. Usually by this time in the evening, it's ready to be fed too. I just pour out half of it and give it some fresh all-purpose flour and warm water. These are supposed to be in equal parts, but I usually just go off the consistency of the starter now. If you guys wanna see a video strictly on how I make sourdough bread or how to build your own starter, please let me know. I love making bread and I could talk about it forever. Okay, once I'm done mixing, I just put the starter in the oven and I just keep it here overnight. I feel like the warmth in the oven really helps the starter grow and keeps it more active. When the lemon water is ready, it's time to get in comfy clothes and decompress for the day. Time can vary day to day, and today is a little bit earlier than most for us. In general, this typically starts happening around 8 o'clock. We both change into our pajamas, turn on the fire, and get ready to read for the evening. This evening, we wanted a snack, so Sam made some sourdough toast for us to munch on before getting into our book. Reading together at night is something we recently started doing, and it's honestly been the best thing we could have done. 
I really didn't think of this until Sam saw me reading one night and asked if I could read to him, and it's been the best thing ever. He even lets me read my silly romance novels to him too. And around 9 o'clock, it's time for bed. I know this is early to most people, but I swear my body doesn't like the world after this time. So I'll usually just brush my teeth and do my skincare routine at this time. I'll also link my skincare routine video at the top of this video if you guys are interested in checking that out. However, I recently added one more step into my routine that has totally changed my skin. I may be late to this party, but grapeseed oil is my new favorite skincare product. I mix about half a tablespoon with my nighttime moisturizer and lather it all over my face and neck. I've been doing this for about a month now and I've seen insane results. I usually get acne for half the month due to my period and I didn't get any this past month. Apparently grapeseed oil has been known to reduce redness, breakouts, and dark circles. It also helps tighten your skin to reduce scars, which I've also seen with my cystic acne scars from childhood. I like putting this on at night because it lets moisture soak in and I don't have to worry about sunscreen or makeup. I just put a towel over my pillow, pull my hair into a bun, and make sure I don't get oil everywhere. If you guys have tried grapeseed oil for your skin, please let me know in the comments below. And that's a wrap for our evening. From here here it is straight to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching our little evening routine. If you like this video, let me know and keep a watch out for my morning routine coming up. Love you guys. Bye YouTube.